G'day viewers, well I've got this uh, TV here, it's been sitting around for a bloody while. This is our old um, kitchen TV, you know, old LG, from 2003. It's a model CA21D65. I've kept the um, circuit board and everything intact, except for the audio map, which I've got here powered up. It seems to work quite well. It's a LA4282. And the, um, this particular, of most of these uh, similar TVs to this that um, LG made in that era have games on them. You go on a menu, there's a little secret uh, game in there. It's like you shoot aliens and stuff. I think it'll be on this chip. If I can find an EEPROM reader or something, see if I can uh, decode it and see if I can, um, if it's possible to retrieve it off this. Pretty sure this is uh, the main chip here, the EEPROM, where the uh, game and everything stored on. There's a little flyback, there's a driver. That's a F6654. This is a Matsushita. 220 microfarad, 450 volt. Cool, I've got another cap for my cap bank. Got some more goodies on here. Let's say that's a oh yeah, C112. Got another, that's a vertical output um, the transistor that is. TDA. 8351 integrated circuit, I mean. Little tiny flyback, LG. And there's what drives it. It's a D5702. I've kept, um, I've loaded one of these uh, RCA jack sets off an old VCR board. I've got it there as my input. I've reused it. I've got some of these uh, little link up wires. A little, um, they used on the uh, they use them in here to join the neck boards to the main uh, driver board there. So I thought I'd use them for this for the inputs, and they work quite well. Left or right, but the right channel I got problems. Can't get the right channel to work properly. I got me uh, schematic somewhere. I've actually googled it and drawn the uh, pin pin out. Pin, uh, where is it? Five and six are your right channel in. I'll trace those back because it's got to go through some capacitors and stuff and some resistors, the uh, inputs for some filtering and I think it's for to clean up the signal a bit. But it doesn't seem to work properly on the right channel. Left channel's uh, pin one and pin two, that's uh, correct. The left channel works beautifully, which is here. So pin one and pin two, you trace those back to a capacitor. Goes here, and that's a positive for left. Negative for left goes here. To the capacitor, through a little uh, resistor, and goes a pin one. Now the right channel goes through this little resistor here to pin six, that's a ground for right channel. Positive for the right channel goes through this little uh, resistor. Through that capacitor, that's also part of the left channel. But that also goes through to this capacitor. It goes a pin four, uh, here we go. Yeah, then goes a pin five. So I'm going to jump off from there to there and see what happens. That's how the uh, thing traced out, so I might have to um, put the positive straight to the pin 5 here to get it to pick up the signal properly on the right channel. So let's see what that does. I just tried that, disconnected this, put this on the positive of the um, right channel input and tapped this directly at a pin 5 and it worked, but um, I'm getting the signal through both channels. So how that uh, circuit board's actually laid out there's the little components in here of joining the signal together on the left and the right. So it's getting both channels in the um get together. So it's kind of worked as a mono slash stereo amp. So I'm not actually getting the stereo sound and the speakers on the output. So uh, I might have to put the um because the whole this circuit here is all coupled up together. I've got capacitors and resistors, and half of that's um, joining the two signals together. The left channel is getting both channels coming through. Both speakers are running now. I've got both speakers running on the left channel. To management, receptionists and drivers, to seasonal workers on the land, and more. Get Maydeck to match the right channel. Now I try the right channel. Nothing at all. I'm only just getting the right channel. That's coming through both speakers. 
So I'm going to have to do something. Other than that little stereo problem, this thing works quite well. It's quite a good little app before. I just got to sort out that uh, stereo issue. It's not uh, fairly warm. It runs quite happily. Just got to fix up the um, uh, stereo output issue and it should be right. There it is there. I've just cut it off the board. Basically all there is to it. There we are there. Put it into a little box and see how it goes. Be a nice little uh, portable repurpose amplifier that I could use. Okay, the other ones would be enough for now, so thanks for watching.